From the Samsung Production Studios in the heart of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, it's your News 13. Brought to you by SSP TV and the Standard Speaker. A woman standing in her front lawn is hit by a car that went out of control this afternoon in Hazel Township. State police reconstructed the scene to see how this accident happened in the first place. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Kristen Bazinski. Well, a husband and wife are outside their home this afternoon doing some decorating when an out-of-control car speeds off of Church Street right into their yard, hits the wife, and the car drags the woman about 20 feet into the neighbor's front yard. That is what happened this afternoon in Hazel Township. The victim is clinging to life at this 5 o'clock hour. Firefighters and paramedics worked feverishly to stabilize the woman who first was unresponsive. Troopers tell us the woman was 63-year-old Mary Ellen Stish. The terrible accident happened right outside the Stish home along South Church Street just before the intersection with Route 424. State police say the Stishes were outside of their home together when the small red car jumped the curb right into their yard striking Mrs. Stish. The car continued about 20 feet into the neighbor's yard. Now Mrs. Stish was found unconscious near the back of that car. Stish was in critical condition and because of the seriousness of her injuries, Hazel Township Fire Chief Scott Castition called for a medical helicopter to land right at the intersection of Church Street and Route 424. Stish was flown to Lehigh Valley Hospital. Her husband was not hurt but very shaken up. The young girl behind the wheel of the red car, 17-year-old Ashley Dawn Lynn of Hazelton was headed towards McAdoo. When another car switched lanes in front of her, Donlin swerved to avoid a crash, then lost control, drove over the median, and then back across the southbound lanes of travel into Stish's yard. Donlin suffered some injuries and was rushed to a trauma center in Wilkesbury. The driver who caused the wreck was 23-year-old Catherine Estrella of Hazelton. No word if charges will be filed against her. Troopers reconstructed the accident scene shortly after it happened. Route 309 from Buttonwood Street south to Route 424 was shut down to all traffic for about two hours. At this 5 o'clock hour, we have no condition updates on Stish or the driver of the red car, but Route 309 is back open. On to a little bit of a lighter note tonight. The pumpkin is the staple of the fall season. And while some local farms are feeling the effects of flooding, Burgers Farm Market has a pretty nice patch. This morning, some first graders were set loose to find that perfect pumpkin. News 13's Nikki Cries tells us that it's not too late to frolic at the farm before that frightful holiday. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Pumpkins are the most popular parts of the fall season. Burgers Farm Market is the place to go for that and more. First graders at Freeland Elementary School agree. We're in the farmer's market and we're here and talk, listening about the vegetables and fruits and everything. Almost every day in the month of October, kids come to Burgers Farm on field trips. We come, we take them around and show them the animals and the vegetables that we grow here. And then we take them up for a hayride and they get to pick the pumpkin. That seems what they really enjoy the most, most. The little ones get to see all different parts of the farm. First we were feeding the donkeys and then we uh, like got to pet a baby tick and we and we got to see um, kind of vegetables. We got to feed the animals and we learned like new things about like what like like different like foods and everything. They seems interested in the different farm animals. A lot of them don't get direct contact with farm animals anymore. And it gives them a place to get a little bit of uh, education on how things grow. All of the kids seem to agree on their favorite part of the trip. I liked feeding the donkeys and petting the baby chicks. The donkey and cows seem to enjoy the cabbage too. Unlike other farms that were affected by this year's flooding, burgers had a good crop and so far that has equaled out to an average year. And it's not just kids on field trips that can come to the pumpkin patch. Burgers Farm offers these activities every weekend in October for the entire community to enjoy. We're open here for to, to self-guide yourself through the animals and the, we have the pumpkins and we take hay rides on weekends all day long until dark. In the community of Drums, I'm Nikki Kreis for News 13. 
Nikki, thank you. October is not only about pumpkins and Halloween. The month is also about raising awareness about breast cancer. Doctors say the disease affects one in nine women during their lives. Did you know that there's special foods designed to help build strength and withstand the effects of treatment? Food and eating recommendations for cancer patients are more than just about healthy eating. That's why an annual event was held last night, Food for Fight. Folks stopped by the Hazleton General Hospital where downstairs in the cafeteria there was a cooking demonstration. And after everything was cooked up, the group got to taste the en entries. I always try to pick something that's fast, healthy, and easy to clean up because being a survivor, you, you know, you really want to cook for your family, but when you're not feeling too well, you want them to at least eat and have something nutritious. When we first started this, that's what we want people to know, that they could still eat, take their chemo, and uh, still look good, and we wanted to get that across from them, and that we're a survivor. We decided to throw in a little about healthy oils and that fat is essential. Um, more and more research comes out all the time about, you know, fat is essential in the diet, not to cut out fats, but then um, certain fats are better at preventing stroke, heart disease, breast cancer. So hopefully they came away with a little bit today and I showed them a great way to prepare beans with a healthy fat. So hopefully they'll come away with a little bit of nugget of knowledge and a new food to try. And that was entree, excuse me. The night was free, but donations were collected for the American Cancer Society. Last night's program was one of many the Greater Hazelton Health Alliances holding in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now to the Hazelton Area School District. We've been telling you about the two buildings school officers have decided to buy, the former Bishop Hathi and the Can Do Building. But how will the district pay for them? Directors discussed the possibilities last night at a committee meeting. School board members say the funding will come in the form of a bond. Municipal finance attorneys will be invited to the board's regular meeting on Tuesday to set the bond acquisition process in motion. The building in the Can Do Corporate Center has a price tag of approximately approximately $4 million, and the former Bishop Hafey High School is around $5 million. But they are going to cost even more because of renovations. Also make note that the board's regular monthly meeting scheduled for October 27th has been rescheduled to Tuesday at 6 o'clock in the administration building. And speaking of Hazleton Area School Directors, several seats are open on the board this election. It's a jam-packed race with issues from the budget to improving test scores to finding a new superintendent. And on November 8th, voters will head to the polls to choose five directors. Six names will appear on the ballot. But before you vote, it's important to get to know each of the candidates. And SSP TV is here to help. Sam LaSant Sr. will be hosting a special two-hour Sam LaSant show this Monday with all six of the school board candidates. The debate will air live right here, Channel 13, at 7 o'clock that night. Sam will be joined by incumbents Dr. Bob Childs, Tony Bonomo, Brian Early, and newcomers Robbie Wallace, Rocco Formica, and Marfi Degenhart. Yannick. Coming up live at 5, do you have dinner plans yet? If not, one local fire company wants to do the cooking tonight. And the curtain goes up this weekend. Hazleton's new performing arts center will be unveiled to the public at a very special dedication event. It's time for the Movie Minute right here on News 13, your weekly look at what's playing at Regal Cinema 10 just outside the Laurel Mall. Three new releases to tell you about this week. Paranormal 3 is the third installment of the spooky series just in time for Halloween. The film is about two young sisters who befriend a ghost inside their house. Johnny English Reborn stars British actor Rowan Atkinson. The movie is about how Johnny English goes up against international assassins. Three Musketeers is a film playing in 3D. The movie is about three down-on-their-luck musketeers who must unite to defeat a double agent from seizing the French throne. For showtimes, call Regal Cinema 10 at 450-7454 or to speak to a movie attendant, call 450-7340. Stay tuned for great local programming all night long right here on SSP TV. At 7 o'clock, it's the Sam LaSan Show. Join Sam and Steve's host with Jackie Musto Carroll. 7.30 is the Judge Stevens Show. Dramatic situations are performed to illustrate the court system and explain the law and decisions made in each case. 8 o'clock is another episode of the Sam LaSan Show where Sam talks with Lou Barletta. 8.30 is Real Life in the OR. Join Channel 13 as we take you inside the operating room as Dr. Mead performs new repairs and replacements. 
Nine o'clock to rip broadcast of the Samuel Stan Show. And at 9 30, it's the Dr. Mead Show. Join Dr. Mead as he shows you how to live a healthy lifestyle. Don't forget about the rip broadcast of our news at 6, 10, and 11 30. And thank you for making News 13 your number one local news station. You're watching News 13 brought to you by SSP TV and the Standard Speaker with Janine Mazurkiewicz, Kristen Bazinski, Christina D'Amato, and Nikki Grimes. Vote for the ticket that is making a difference in Hazleton. Joe Yanuzzi and Evelyn Graham. Five more police officers on our streets protecting residents. Surveillance cameras making Hazleton a safer environment. More code enforcement and health code officers responding to citizens' complaints. On November 8th, vote Joe Yanuzzi for mayor and Evelyn Graham for city council. The team that is making a difference. Feisner Ford in Freeland has the best deals. New at Feisner Ford, the Hunter High Capacity Open and Closed Front Alignment Rack and the Road Force Tire Balancer. You'll only get them here. We can align rollbacks, ambulances, vans, and construction vehicles. And we also offer free alignment checks with any vehicle service appointment. Feisner Ford is where you'll find the best deals on new and used vehicles. The best deals. Schumann Disposal Incorporated is a local family-owned company proudly serving Cunningham, Sugarloaf, Drums, and Beach Mountain since 1963. Roll-off and rear-load containers are available. To schedule weekly trash pickup and container services, give Schumann Disposal a call, 788-1294. Our business is picking up. Buy right the first time at Independence Toyota. Our summer scissor sale is going on now. Choose from over 80 pre-owned vehicles in stock starting at just $4,999. Includes complimentary maintenance, one-year oil changes, and roadside assistance. And remember, if you don't see this on the back of your new Toyota, you probably pay too much. Located on the airport beltway across from Walmart, Hazleton. If it's local news you're looking for, News 13 is your community news station. It was the fourth homicide in Hazleton since the beginning of the year. 38-year-old Rafael Gonzalez is accused of raping a Hazleton woman and then murdering her uncle. News 13's Nikki Cry spoke to investigators as well as neighbors who said they're scared to go home at night. We were on scene of a serious accident on the airport beltway. An elderly man from McAdoo, who was behind the wheel of a car, died from his injuries. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, News 13 shared some important information about the deadly disease. Nikki Cry spent some time with a woman who is a true survivor, Joanne Yunuzi. We also spoke to a doctor who reminded the public about early detection and making a difference for flood victims. It was a battle of the bands at Mohegan Sun, all to help those affected by September's high waters. If you just don't want to miss News 13, live at 5 and 5.30, Monday through Friday, and check us out online at ssptv.com. Well, the curtain will go up this weekend at Hazleton Elementary Middle School's newly remodeled auditorium. The first public event at the Alice C. Wilty performing Arts Center is taking place on Sunday. The dedication event, Raise the Curtain, is scheduled to begin at 2 in the afternoon. The whole fam, the whole community is invited to be a part of history as the venue is dedicated. You'll be the first person to sit in the seats and watch the curtain go up. There and back again will be providing entertainment and refreshments will be served in the backstage area. An audience member will also win a diamond necklace. The prize celebrates the opening of Hazleton's Gem. For more information or tickets, log on to wiltseacenter.org or call 861-0510. The National Rock Band Chicago is also scheduled to perform here on November 27th. Bundle up if you're heading outside tonight because it's pretty cold and very windy out there. Taking a look at Greater Hazleton, we see the temp dipping down to 45 for your evening ahead. Cloudy skies tomorrow for Saturday. Look for the sun to be shining and we'll see the temp rising up to 53 degrees. All righty, we'll have your 40 outlook coming up live at 530. But first, we want to show you your winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played today. Your daily number, 556. 
Big Four, 5557. Five, Quinto, 96089. Treasure Hunt, 278028. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for making News 13 your number one local news station. Here's your lineup for Saturday. Good evening, everyone, and here's tonight's social news. And happy fifth birthday to Emily Jean Bodner. She's the daughter of Stephen and Colette Bodner of Freeland. This wish comes with love from mom, dad, your entire family, and everyone here at News 13. And now for tonight's Talk of the Town. Gifts for Kids. This is presented by Making a Difference. This will be on Thursday, October 27th from 7 to 10 p.m. This will be at the Hollywood Diner and Sports Bar. Come on out for free food, free drink, and entertainment. Please bring a new unwrapped gift for a child. Suggested gifts include Wii games, DS games, clothes, and toys. Entertainment will be by Kira Lee and Brandon Rice, and there's a Pandora bracelet raffle for donors of $10 or more. All donations will benefit Toys for Tots. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. News 13 extends our deepest sympathies to the family and friends of these recently departed. William C. Rowett of Cunningham. Visitation will be on Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Butler Chapel of the Crop and Hughes Funeral Home. Heather Ann Yurick of Sugarloaf. The funeral will be on Monday at 10.30 a.m. from the Harmon Funeral Home. Friends may call Sunday from 2 to 6 p.m. Harold A. Hostler of Tamaqua. The funeral services will be on Monday at 11 a.m. from the E. Franklin Griffiths Funeral Home. Richard P. Foster of Weatherly. Graveside services will be held October 28th at 1 p.m. from the Indian Town Gap Cemetery. Nancy Irene Caracera of Hazleton. Memorial services will be on Monday at 10 a.m. from the St. John's Primitive Methodist Church. James R. Yanis, Sr. of Drums. The arrangements are incomplete and will be announced at a later date. And Kenneth Paul of Freeland. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Tonight's obituaries have been brought to you by the Smilax Floral Shop on 15th Street in Hazleton. Free delivery to all local funeral homes. Call 570-454-0111. Check out the newly designed Chrysler 200 or how about the two-door Jeep Wrangler or four-door Unlimited. Jeep Patriot is named best price SUV in America. Jeep Grand Cherokee styling is second to none. Jeep Compass, named top 10 fuel-efficient SUV with sophisticated styling. It's Ram commercial truck season. Get what you deserve, power, performance, and a Dodge Ram. How about Dodge Journey? Seat 7 with four-wheel drive, a winning combination. Dodge Durango, let the towing begin. Best in class, up to 7,400-pound capability. It's All-American Tamaqua. What do you value? At King's College, values aren't measured in dollars and cents. Here, values are experienced. They are lived. At King's, you will learn the values of a lifetime. Join us for our next open house on November 7th by calling 1-888-KINGS-PA or visiting kings.edu. We're falling into savings here at Treasure Hunt. There's always so many great deals. Today we're focusing on the ladies. Ladies two-piece suits at a price you can't beat. They're only $12.99. Ladies casual and dress pants, only $9.99. Just in time for fall, ladies KC collection jackets are only $9.99. How about these brand new ladies designer purses? They're only $14.99. Keep your toes toasty with these fashion slippers from $4.99 to $7.99. And once it gets really cold outside, you'll appreciate these cold weather accessories, $2 to $8.99. Leggings and tights ranging from $1.99 to $4.99. Ladies' fashion nightgowns are only $4.99 to $9.99. And make sure you check out all the bargains for the little ladies out there, only at Treasure Hunt, where nothing is more fun than finding a bargain.
If you're hunting for something for dinner tonight, we may just have the place for you to go. Tasty food, and you'll be helping out a great cause at the same time. The volunteers at the McAdoo Fire Company were busy cooking up some of their famous food this afternoon. The fire company is having a wing, hoagie, and pizza sale at the firehouse tonight. Earlier today, we stopped by to check out the prep work being done for the sale, which is going on right now. The firefighters will be selling food until 8 o'clock tonight. There are six different flavors of wing sauce to choose from. Hot, mild, butter garlic, barbecue, Old Bay, and Cajun. And of course, the fire company's famous steak and cheese hoagies and pizza. All the money raised tonight will go towards updating equipment and training for the volunteers here in the south side. On the south side, I should say. Chamber members and their guests gathered Thursday evening to learn more about what a local business has to offer. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, last night's networking mixer was held at Rhinehouse Radiology. Folks were invited to check out the addition of Rhinehouse's new women's imaging suite, which includes includes a spa-like atmosphere and a fireplace. They also learned about other services at Ryan House, like CT and MRI scans, ultrasound, and x-rays. Attendees say they enjoyed the evening and were excited to win some great door prizes, like long and burger baskets. Ryan House Radiology is located on North Church Street in Hazel Township. All right, there's still more ahead on your community news station. Nikki Cries is up next with your Live at 530. A $25,000 grant was awarded today to a group of local leaders. It's all thanks to two lawmakers. We'll also have more on this afternoon's very serious accident in Hazel Township. Make sure you check out our new website at ssptv.com. We are proud to announce that that site has hit 10,000 views in just five weeks. Keep logging on to watch this past week's newscasts again and one of our shows like Sam LaSant or Inside Scoop. As we head over to the 5.30, here's a list of some of the upcoming spooky events as Greater Hazleton celebrates Halloween. Have a good weekend, everyone. Boscov's Honest Pricing. Guarantee quality super buys. 80% off men's heavyweight 100% cotton thermal cruise, $4.99. 100% cotton flannel lounge pants, $4.99. 33 to 50% off Presswick and more three-quarter sleeve tees or knit pants, $9.99. 50 to 66% off 30 styles of ladies' casual and dress shoes, $19.99. 60% off our entire stock of infants and toddlers fall playwear, dresswear, and sleepwear at all Boscov's. 
Heller Orchards, quality fruit at reasonable prices. Route 239, Wapwallopin, is open seven days a week, nine to five, with the best apples around. Ginger, Gold, Cortland, Macintosh, Gala, and Honey Crisp. A tradition that continues on. We grow good health at Heller Orchards, Wapwallopin. If you struggle with obesity, you know how difficult life can be. But there is help. The fully accredited Northeast Bariatric Center offers three surgical alternatives for weight loss, including the newest minimally invasive sleeve procedure. Improve your health and enjoy quality time with your family and friends. Just visit our website for more information or to check dates and times for our monthly informational session. You have a lot to gain by losing. For all of your eye care needs, including routine, medical, surgical eye care, glasses or contact lenses, visit Dr. Thomas Gislin at Hazleton Eye Specialists. Ask about the seven minute, no needle, no stitch, no patch cataract surgery and LASIK and Multilex procedures. We do diagnosis and treatment of eye diseases, including glaucoma and dry eye syndrome. Dr. Kislin and his associates, Dr. Alexandria Wozmanski and Dr. Frank A. Bucci, Jr., provide the highest level of medical and surgical eye care available with eye care for all ages. Hazelton Eye Specialists on the Airport Bellway in the Franklin Corporate Center. Some current board members continue to raise your property taxes while test scores lag behind. It is our responsibility as board members to spend education dollars efficiently and effectively, as well as providing the best education we can. To light a fire of curiosity and eagerness to learn in our children that will carry them through their entire lives. I'm Rocco Formica. Having taught in the Hazel Area School District for nearly 40 years, I know what it's like on both sides of the desk. On November 8th, please vote Rocco Formica, Hazel Area School Director. Stanley opened the Majestic in 1954 and has seen it all. Until now, one of his former employees is running for district attorney. And he remembers her being a good kid, energetic, and a hard worker. Something hardworking folks don't forget. Nor will they forget that current DA Muster did nothing while kids went to jail claiming she didn't know. Well, Stanley knows that at least his granddaughter's a hard worker. Not hard to believe. Coming up right now, live at 5.30, an ordinary day for a Hazel Township couple turns tragic in a matter of seconds. A car speeds off the road and into the couple's front yard, hitting and critically injuring the wife. Now she is in a trauma center fighting for her life. Troopers are piecing together how this tragic accident happened. From the Samsung Production Studios in the heart of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, it's your News 13. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Nikki Cries. A husband and wife were outside their home this afternoon doing some decorating when an out-of-control car speeds off of Church Street right into their yard, hits the wife, and the car drags the woman about 20 feet into the neighbor's front yard. That is what happened this afternoon in Hazel Township. The victim is clinging to life at this 5.30 hour. Firefighters and paramedics worked feverishly to stabilize the woman, who at first was unresponsive. Troopers tell us the woman is 63-year-old Mary Ellen Stish. The terrible accident happened right outside the Stish home along South Church Street just before the intersection with Route 424. State police say the Stishes were outside their home together when the small red car jumped the curb right into the yard, st striking Mrs. Stish. The car continued about 20 feet into the neighbor's yard. Mrs. Stish was found unconscious near the back of the car. Stish was in critical condition, and because of the seriousness of her injuries, Hazel Township Fire Chief Scott Kostishin called for a medical helicopter to land right at the intersection of Church Street and 424. Stitch was flown to Lehigh Valley Hospital. Her husband was not hurt, but was very shaken up. The young girl behind the wheel of the red car, 17-year-old Ashley Dunlow of Hazelton, was headed towards McAdoo when another car switched lanes in front of her. Donlin swerved to avoid a crash and then lost control, drove over the median, and then back across the southbound lanes of travel into Stitch's yard. Donlin suffered some injuries and was rushed to a trauma center in Wilkesbury. The driver who caused the wreck was 23-year-old Catherine Estrella of Hazelton. No word if charges will be filed against her. 
Troopers reconstructed the accident scene shortly after it happened. Route 309 from Buttonwood Street south to Route 424 was shut down to all traffic for about two hours. At this 530 hour, we have no condition updates on Stish or Donlin, but Route 309 is back open. A Hazleton man is facing a long list of charges after police say he cut a woman's face with a butcher knife last month. Cops say 35-year-old Omar Negron Rivera was arguing with a woman named Maria Perez inside his North Vine Street house when he grabbed a butcher knife and held it against her throat. Negron then cut the left side of Perez's chin and said he would come back later to kill her. He was arraigned last week and is currently in prison, unable to post $10,000 bail. Negron will be back in court on Tuesday to face several charges, including aggravated assault. It's a group of local leaders that represents all of Greater Hazleton. And now because of a grant, the Mountain Council of Governments will be able to continue for the next couple of years. State Senator John Udichak and State Representative Tara Tuhill presented the group a check this morning for $25,000. The grant was from the Department of Community and Economic Development. Dan Geidish is the executive director of the Mountain Council of Governments. He reached out to Senator Udichak to get the grant money. So important to helping bring communities together. Uh, we really need, in terms of addressing public safety issues, crime, in terms of addressing economic development issues, and creating jobs, really need to take a regional approach. The COG is a great way to do that. It's a great vehicle for communities to come together as neighbors, work together, and help out their communities. This allows the COG to remain in operation for three years. Uh, the, the funds enable us to pay our monthly bills as, as a COG and to continue with the projects that uh, we have ongoing. Uh, and our main goal is uh, to get have intergovernmental cooperation in the greater Hazleton area. The group of leaders gets together to discuss common problems in the area. The grant money will allow them to keep on moving forward. The pumpkin is the staple of the fall season, and while some local farms are feeling the effects of flooding, Burger's Farm Market has a pretty nice patch. This morning, some first graders were set loose to find that perfect pumpkin. It's not too late to frolic at the farm before that frightful holiday. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Pumpkins are the most popular parts of the fall season. Burgers Farm Market is the place to go for that and more. First graders at Freeland Elementary School agree. We're in the farmer's market and we're here and talk, listening about the vegetables and fruits and everything. Almost every day in the month of October, kids come to Burgers Farm on field trips. We come and we take them around and show them the animals and the vegetables that we grow here. And then we take them up for a hay ride and they get to pick the pumpkin. That seems what they really enjoy the most. most. The little ones get to see all different parts of the farm. First we were feeding the donkeys and then we uh, like got to pet a baby tick and we and we got to see um, kind of vegetables. We got to see the animals and we learned like new things about like what like like different like foods and everything. It seems interested in the different farm animals. A lot of them don't get direct contact with farm animals anymore. And it gives them a place to get a little bit of uh, education on how things grow. All of the kids seem to agree on their favorite part of the trip. I liked feeding the donkeys and petting the baby chicks. The donkey and cows seem to enjoy the cabbage too. Unlike other farms that were affected by this year's flooding, Burgers had a good crop and so far that has equaled out to an average year. And it's not just kids on field trips that can come to the pumpkin patch. Burgers Farm offers these activities every weekend in October for the entire community to enjoy. We're open here for to to self-guide yourself through the animals and the, we have the pumpkins and we take hay rides on weekends all day long until dark. 
October is not only about pumpkins and Halloween, the month is also about raising awareness about breast cancer. Doctors say the disease affects one in nine women during their lives. Did you know that there are special foods designed to help build strength and withstand the effects of treatment? Food recommendations for cancer patients are more than just about he healthy eating. That's why an annual event was held last night, Food for the Fight. Folks stopped by Hazelton General Hospital where there was a cooking demonstration. And after everything was cooked up, the group got to taste the entrees. I always try to pick something that's fast, healthy, and easy to clean up because being a survivor, you, you know, you really want to cook for your family, but when you're not feeling too well, you want them to at least eat and have something nutritious. When we first started this, that's what we want people to know, that they could still eat, take their chemo, and uh, still look good, and we wanted to get that across from them, and that we're a survivor. I decided to throw in a little about healthy oils and that fat is essential. Um, more and more research comes out all the time about, you know, fat is essential in the diet, not to cut out fats, but then um, certain fats are better at preventing stroke, heart disease, breast cancer. So hopefully they came away with a little bit today, and I showed them a great way to prepare beans with a healthy fat. So hopefully they'll come away with a little bit of nugget of knowledge and a new food to try. The night was free, but donations were collected for the American Cancer Society. Last night's program was one of many the Greater Hazelton Health Alliance is holding to honor Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Coming up live at 5.30, we will check in with the forecast to find out what the weather will be like this weekend. But first, a wife and mother of three fought long and hard against a rare form of cancer. Sadly, she lost her battle at only 35 years old. News 13 remembers Heather Urich, who was an example of hope and determination. It's time for the Movie Minute right here on News 13, your weekly look at what's playing at Regal Cinema 10 just outside the Laurel Mall. Three new releases to tell you about this week. Paranormal 3 is the third installment of the spooky series just in time for Halloween. The film is about two young sisters who befriend a ghost inside their house. Johnny English Reborn stars British actor Rowan Atkinson. The movie is about how Johnny English goes up against international assassins. Three Musketeers is a film playing in 3D. The movie is about three down-on-their-luck musketeers who must unite to defeat a double agent from seizing the French throne. For showtimes, call Regal Cinema 10 at 450-7454 or to speak to a movie attendant, call 450-7340. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name right now on Channel 13, you will have 13 minutes to call in and win a free pay-per-view movie from Service Electric Cable Vision. Tonight's winner, Jeffrey Masaryk of Freeland. Jeffrey, if you're watching, give us a call right now at 570-459-9813 to win your free movie. You're watching News 13 with Janine Masarykiewicz, Kristen Bozinski, Christina D'Amato, and Nikki Gross. Hey, can you toss me that tape measure? Here you go. Woo! Still got it. <laughs> you got nothing! Yeah! It's football season. And great deals are waiting for you at Burger Family Dealerships. Like a new GMC 1500 regular cab 4x4 starting at $25,995. Plus, we'll pay more for your trade guaranteed. Just off I-81, exit 145 Hazleton. Since 1921, drive with experience. Anyone can make a phone call. What's important is who's on the other end. We've been doing injury law for more than 35 years. It's what we do most, it's what we do best, it's what we do every day. So if you're hurt and want a lawyer who does nothing but injury law every day, there's no reason to call anyone else. Call Valo Law Injury Lawyers. Savings of the Green Sale event is now in progress. Experience tomorrow's technology today with EarthWise vinyl windows and doors installed by Just Windows and much, much more. Saving energy daily translates into saving money. And saving Mother Earth for tomorrow's generations of homeowners is priceless. So take the leap to more eco-friendly homes with an environmentally friendly windows and doors from Just Windows and much, much more. Ashley, you forgot about free estimates. Come on, man. 
Call today for a free estimate. Tell them Ashley sent you. When it comes to your health, you need to put your trust in a team of experienced professionals. Mountain City Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, an extended care facility, has one goal in mind, helping people live better. Short-term rehabilitation is our business. Mountain City offers you a chance to recover on our STAR unit, a short-term unit for patients who need some rehab before going home. We provide dedicated nursing and therapy services and offer you a personalized plan of recovery through our evidence-based recovery track programming. Mountain City helps me live better. When it comes to all of your grocery needs, shop Boyer's Food Markets at two locations, 15th Street in Hazleton and South Hancock Street in McAdoo. Here are this week's specials. Every weekend, look in our hot food area for wings, tenders, and other party favorites. Don't forget about our gift cards and our senior citizens discounts. We also have double coupons every day. You can also go to boyersfood.com for our weekly circular, monthly super specials, and much more. It's all at Boyer's Food Markets in Hazleton and McAdoo. Make your dollars go further. There's one place that delivers unlike any other, your Toyota dealer. So don't just trade in, trade up to Toyota during the Toyota Trade Up Sales Event. Trade up and get 0% APR on the last of the 11s, Corollas, RAV4s, Benzes, Avalon, Siennas, Camrys, and Tundras. Plus, now every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a complimentary maintenance plan. Don't just trade in, trade up to Toyota. Save with great deals today and a better value tomorrow. She captured the hearts of many when we first introduced Heather Urich on News 13 and shared with you her battle against a rare form of cancer. The community came together to raise funds for the Urich family through many different fundraisers to help pay medical bills. The wife and mother of three fought long and hard against the horrible disease, but sadly lost her battle Thursday morning. She was just 35 years old. News 13's Janine Mazurkevich sat down with Heather and her family back in July before the Making a Difference golf tournament, which Heather was a beneficiary of. Tonight we remember a brave woman who had hope and faith until the very end. I feel very inspired now and very blessed. In a lot of ways, I would never, a lot of people would think that I'm crazy by saying this, but I do believe that cancer has blessed my life in a lot of ways. Meet Heather Urich, a 34-year-old wife and mother of three, diagnosed with a rare form of ovarian cancer. She and her husband James recently celebrated their 13th wedding anniversary and have been together for almost 20 years. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys eating on bed. They live in Prospect Park in Sugarloaf Township with their three children, 10-year-old Hunter, 6-year-old James, and 4-year-old Victoria. A few months ago, Heather was having a hard time losing weight. She had a bloated stomach and was waking up in the middle of the night with pain in the lower part of her body. Her aunt was recently diagnosed with stage 4 ovarian cancer right before Christmas, and Heather was concerned that her symptoms were more than just everyday stress. She went to get checked, and doctors found a very large mass that had to come out. Heather had to have immediate major surgery, which included a complete hysterectomy and removal of a two-pound tumor about the size of a four-month pregnancy. Obviously, when Heather was initially diagnosed with ovarian cancer, the first thoughts that went through her mind were shock, fear, and even death. All the things that were taught um, and that come into our minds every time we have family or loved ones that are affected by cancer. Um, my family was the first thing that mm -hmm. popped in my mind um, and how much I want to be here to support them and to watch them grow. And I wasn't okay with um, the diagnosis the doctors were telling me um, when they told me it was extremely rare and um, that I should basically uh, be mad at the world and be upset because I got the short end of the stick. I refused to believe that. When Heather was diagnosed with cancer, uh, the main thing I said to her was, you need to fight. Uh, you know, we have three children and me. I shouldn't have three kids on my own. So I think she took that and ran with it. Heather is now going through chemo and says she understands everything the American Medical Association told her about cancer, but she wanted to further explore her options holistically. She ended up getting another opinion at Issel's Medical Center in California, where she received different forms of cancer treatment and a lot of information about cancer, 
where it comes from, and how to prevent it for future generations. Heather now eats an organic diet and changed to a healthier lifestyle in hopes of beating cancer. Even though you're diagnosed or if someone's diagnosed with cancer, it doesn't have to be a death sentence. Um, there are a lot of options out there and explore your options along with conventional means and get the best possible um, treatment that you can for yourself and for your family. And um, also, don't give up. You have to have faith. You have to have a lot of um, encouragement and a lot of hope. And you have to keep a positive attitude. That's, I believe, over 50% of the battle. The amount of support that, that the family and our friends have, have given back and, and are continuing to give back is, is just totally overwhelming. Uh, I know myself, uh, my wife, and the children are more grateful than everybody, anybody would ever know. Uh, it, it means the world to us. The support as far as the, uh, the community has been incredible. Um, I never expected such an outpouring from everyone and our friends in our development here and um, the family and as far as family of friends in the development and everybody, it's just, it's just completely overwhelming. I'm humbled and honored to um, be a part and I, I hope that I can give hope to other people as well and I want to be able to get back to the community for everything that everyone's doing for me. Mm -hmm. And even though I was told that it was a, a rare diagnosis and um, possibly not such a good outcome. I know that um, God's brought me to this and he'll bring me through it. Heather Urich's funeral will be held Monday at 1030 from Harmon Funeral Home on West Butler Drive. Friends may call at the funeral home Sunday from 2 to 6 p.m. In lieu of flowers, Heather's family asks that donations are made to Trinity Lutheran Church on Rock Glen Road or to the Urich Children's Education Fund in care of Susquehanna Bank. Again, Heather leaves behind three children, two boys ages 10 and 6 and a 4-year-old daughter. On behalf of News 13 and Samsung Productions, along with the LaSant family, our deepest sympathy goes out to the Yurik family. We'll be right back. Vote for the ticket that is making a difference in Hazleton. Joe Yanuzzi and Evelyn Graham. Five more police officers on our streets protecting residents. Surveillance cameras making Hazleton a safer environment. More code enforcement and health code officers responding to citizens' complaints. On November 8th, vote Joe Yanuzzi for mayor and Evelyn Graham for city council. The team that is making a difference. The Field Family Chiropractic will be collecting coats for kids all month long. New patients will receive a complete health history, orthopedic and neurological exam, myovision scan, and a report of findings all for donating a new or good condition coat for a child. Current patients can receive an adjustment at no charge on October 27th with the donation of a coat. Help make a difference for area children this fall at the Field Family Chiropractic, 570-788-3737. SSP-TV Sports on News 13 with Fred Barletta Jr. It almost seems impossible that we're talking week eight of the high school football season, but that is where we're at. And tonight, for the first time, it's going to feel like a football night out there. Temperatures are going to be down in the mid to low 40s, and by the time it's all said and done, you're going to be a little frost on the pumpkin, but uh, maybe, maybe Hazleton Area Cougars could heat things up. That's what we're going to look at because tonight, 7 o'clock, Cougars are on the carpet up at Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium where they'll take on the Coughlin Crusaders, and uh, it should be a pretty interesting one because, well, the Cougars uh, really haven't played well the last two weeks. Now, Coughlin is 4-3, and three, so you would think it's a game the Cougars have a legitimate shot at. I know a lot of people are saying, well, Coughlin... That, uh, take a look at who their losses were against, and uh, you'd see that this team is legitimately a good team. There's no question, Coughlin is a very good team. But, nevertheless, they're not one of the premier teams of the conference, so the Cougars, by measuring stick, got to play well tonight. We will wait and see. The other games of interest, Tunkhannock and Williamsport have really been scuffling. Uh, they're two of the three Cougar wins, but uh, somebody tonight, maybe uh, Williamsport, can get their third win. It just hasn't gone well for the Millionaires or the Tigers. Delaware Valley, 
They're at Scranton, Pittston at Berwick. And the game of the night, Crestwood Comets at Spartan Stadium take it on Wyoming Valley West. And that is one everybody's going to be tuned in and keeping their eye on. Pleasant Valley's at East Stroudsburg South. The Cavaliers are the team the Cougars will be welcoming to Harmon Geist next Saturday. And we go down to the Lehigh Valley to find Easton and Freedom always a real interesting matchup. Other games tonight, Scranton Prep at Valley View, Nazareth at Parkland, North Pocono at Wallen Pulpack, the Canaries of Allen at Ebayas, and Marion trying to get back on the winning track against Shenandoah Valley. Tomorrow, Pocono Mountain East in the back mountain against Dallas, Liberty and Becca, Hanover and uh, Holy Redeemer, and West Scranton at Abington Heights. Now let's go to uh, some of the other things going on tonight, including soccer. Weatherly is at MMI. Let's go right to the scoreboards, and we'll start down at Harmon Geist. Take a look. Yesterday, this is field hockey action between Hazel Tedaria and Nanny Coke. Hazel Tedaria wearing the red, Nanny Coke in the dark uniforms, and the Lady Cougars, who uh, won a thrilling overtime game on Wednesday night against Wyoming area, trying to finish the regular season again with a win. Now, Nanny Coke has uh, really had trouble this year. The Lady Cougars in the beginning had trouble with Nanny Coke. The, the final goes to the Lady Cougars three and uh, three to one, and with that win, as we said, they conclude the regular season of uh, field hockey in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Let's take a look at the final standings now for field hockey. This is Division One. Hazelton is not in Division One. Division One is where Crestwood resides, and you can see they were undefeated, a perfect regular season, 15 and all. Valley West. Wyoming Sem, other big names in the conference. You could take a look. Matter of fact, this is where the power teams are in the Wyoming Valley Conference. You go all the way down to Lake Lehman. There's only two teams that did not finish at 500. They would be Lackawanna Trail and Delaware Valley. Keep that in mind because Lackawanna Trail is something we're going to tell you about in a minute. Meanwhile, Division II, Holy Redeemer ran away with it. They were the only team above 500 in Division II. The Wyoming area, Hazelton area, finished tied for second. That was good enough to qualify the Lady Cougars for the District 2 playoffs. They're the number five seed, and they will play at Lackawanna Trail. That's up in Factoryville. That one will be Monday at 3.30. So uh, we'll see if the Lady Cougars can uh, take down one of the Division I schools on Monday in the opening round of the tournament. Soccer, Hanover shuts out MMI. Volleyball, this is a little bit of a surprise. After Marion won the first time around, they suffer their first loss of the year, and they got thumped. Three zip right out the door. Nativity, Nativity gets the win. Friday means it's the all-night happy hour at Bottlenecks. Half-price appetizers and drinks from open to close. Check it out. Bottlenecks. Folks, enjoy the weekend. Everyone knows that Bottlenecks is the home of award-winning wings and mouth-watering steaks, but now a new tasty reason to stop by. New succulent snow crab legs, steam seasoned and served with lemon and hot melted butter. And seafood fans will love Monday nights for the Crab and Clam Seafood Jam, featuring little neck clams in garlic butter and peel and eat Old Bay shrimp. Bottlenecks is open seven days a week. The kitchen is open till midnight every day. There's always a reason to stop by Bottlenecks. Honest pricing, guarantee quality super buys. 80% off men's heavyweight 100% cotton thermal cruise, $4.99. 100% cotton flannel lounge pants, $4.99. 33 to 50% off Presswick and more three quarter sleeve tees or knit pants, $9.99. 50 to 66% off 30 styles of ladies' casual and dress shoes, $19.99. 60% off our entire stock of infants and toddlers' fall playwear, dresswear, and sleepwear at all Boscovs. We're falling into savings here at Treasure Hunt. There's always so many great deals. Today we're focusing on the ladies. Ladies two-piece suits at a price you can't beat. They're only 12 dollars 
Ladies casual and dress pants only $9.99. Just in time for fall, ladies' KC collection jackets are only $9.99. How about these brand new ladies' designer purses? They're only $14.99. Keep your toes toasty with these fashion slippers from $4.99 to $7.99. And once it gets really cold outside, you'll appreciate these cold weather accessories, $2 to $8.99. Leggings and tights ranging from $1.99 to $4.99. Ladies' fashion nightgowns are only $4.99 to $9.99. And make sure you check out all the bargains for the little ladies out there. Only a treasure hunt where nothing is more fun than finding a bargain. Well, it definitely feels like fall out there today. Chilly temps will stick around for the rest of your Friday night, so make sure you wear a jacket if you're heading out for some weekend plans. I know I was pretty cold today at the pumpkin patch. Tonight it's going to be cloudy, a low of about 45 degrees, and it's going to still be very windy out there tonight. Your four-day outlook Saturday is going to be chilly, a little bit warmer, 53 degrees, a low of 35 degrees. Sunday, sunny skies ahead for football Sunday, 51 degrees, a low of 41 degrees, so it's going to warm up a little bit Sunday evening. Monday we see some showers, unfortunately, a chance of showers 30% a high of 55 degrees and a low of 39. And Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high near 55 degrees. Tuesday night, the clouds roll in with a low of 41. It's definitely fall weather out there. Lazy Dog Salon, your 530 forecast, located at 525B North Broad Street in West Hazleton. Give them a call today, 459-0310. Before we say goodbye, we want to let you know that Congressman Lou Barletta will be the guest on tonight's special Sam LaSant show. Make sure you tune in. That does it for us tonight. Thank you for making us a part of your day and your week here on News 13. If you want to catch this newscast again, just tune in for a rebroadcast tonight and into the morning. And don't forget, we're always on at SSPTV.com. As we say goodnight, we leave you with a rundown of all the Halloween happenings here in Greater Hazleton over the next week up until the haunted holiday. Thanks for watching.